Hello Divination and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add vertical social sharing buttons to your web page in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in the admin dashboard of our website. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm going to give this page a name and then click on use Divi Builder. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here and select this. So the layout we need is the wedding planner. So I'm going to come over here and search for it. I'm just going to type in wedding. So the specific page we need for this is the home page layout. So I'm going to click on it and then click on use this layout. Right, so the next stage is to add our social media follow module, but this needs to go under the uh, divider in column one. So right now we can't really see all these dividers. So what I normally do is to come over here to the bottom and go into uh, wireframe view. And then we're gonna come over here and search for our social media follow. So I'm just gonna type in social media follow and I'm gonna add it right there. I'm gonna save this for now. And then I'm gonna drag this to the top, just above the divider. Okay, so what we can do now is to go into the settings and let's add our social network. So I'm gonna start off with Facebook. So I'm gonna click down here, select Facebook. And then over here, this is very important. This is where you want to add your account URL. So right now I'm just gonna add a blank link. But in your case, you would need to add a proper link that links, that links to your Facebook page. Okay, so I'm gonna save that for now. I'm gonna come back over here, add another one. And this time this is gonna be the Twitter. So I'm gonna add my Twitter. And again, over here, you want to add your link. So you can go ahead and add even more links and see how that looks. So over here, I'm just gonna come over here to the front and then let's see where our icons are. So we can see here, these are the two that we've just added. So let's continue adding more. So my next social media network here is going to be Pinterest, dummy URL over here, add another one. And this time it's gonna be Instagram. So now that we have all our social media icons, the next thing we need to do is to add our background. So I'm gonna come over here and then click this plus button and add our background color. Now, if you wanna use the exact same color that I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So the color we're going to use here is going to have some transparency. So I'm just gonna drag the slider down a little bit and then paste my values between the brackets, just like that. Next, we're gonna come over here to the design tab and we need to adjust the width. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and our width needs to be set to 64 pixels. Next, we're gonna add our margins. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and for the top margin, I'm gonna set it to minus three VW. Now we might as well add our sizes for the tablet. So I'm gonna come over here, click this icon, click on the tablet tab and I'm gonna set this to 30 pixels. Next, it's time to add our padding. So for our padding here, we're gonna have the same value throughout all the four sides. So this is going to be 16 pixels. And then I'm gonna activate my chain over here and do the same for the left and the right. So now you can see that all our icons have some breathing space and that looks much neater. So I'm gonna come back over here to the desktop tab. Right, so the next stage now is to change the color of the social media icon. So I'm gonna go into each and every one of these and set my colors. So I'm gonna click here on the gear icon and I'm gonna click here, paste my color. And then I'm just gonna go back, do the same for Twitter. And this color can be found in the post which I'll link to in the show notes below. So just to have a look at uh, what it looks like so far, I'm just gonna save this so you can see that the colors have updated. So you can see here, that uh, the two dark gray ones there have changed. So you need to go ahead and do the rest, I mean the other two. Okay, so this is the final result. You can see all my icons now have the same color. So the next stage I'm gonna go through now is just to show you how you can gain even more control of the positioning of these social follow icons. So what I'm gonna do is to add a new row. So I'm gonna do this in the wireframe mode. So I'm gonna come over here. So I'm gonna create a new row, okay? And this row is gonna have a single column. So what I'm gonna do now is to just drag this row all the way to the top, and then I'm gonna drag my social media follow into that row. So I'm gonna drag it over here like that. 
Now let's go into the row settings. So I'm gonna click here. In fact, I can switch over here to my mobile view. So you can see here, my social media icons are right here. So what we're gonna do here is to add a custom width of 100%. So I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing, use custom width. And uh, we're gonna set this to percentage. I'm gonna drag this all the way to 100%. And then we're also gonna add a custom padding of zero to the top and zero to the bottom. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and then add a zero, activate my chain. So now my value has been added both to the top and the bottom. Now let's go to the advanced tab and we're gonna add a bit of CSS. So I'm gonna come over here to custom CSS and add the CSS code to the main element. Right, so for now, let's go ahead and save. Next, we're gonna go into the social media icons. Right, so what we're gonna do now is to go into the design tab, click on spacing, and then over here on our custom margin, we're gonna add minus 140. And now you can see this is positioned correctly. So what we can also do here is to come over here to uh, sizing and we can align this however we want so as you can see here now we have it in the middle and we can also have it all the way to the right so this is what i meant by saying you can control this much better when you have this in its own row so you can choose uh, whichever way you want this to to look but for now i'm just going to leave this in the middle like that and let's take a look at the different views so i'm going to click here on my mobile device And you can see here, it's all in the middle. But of course, if you wanna change it, you can always click here and that will be that position for that view. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please leave your comments in the comments box below. I'll do my best to respond to those. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.